Diamond Head, making the trek up to the top. I've never been, Cody's never been. Kristen and Heather have made it years ago, but seems to be a pretty cool hike right now. Pretty much paved path the whole way. Wow, look at that. Shortly after that small little lookout and where I said the path was mostly paved, the path was no longer paved. It was bumpy, rocky, and you really had to watch where you were stepping so you didn't turn your ankle. Parts of the path became pretty narrow and you had to watch for people coming the other way. People moved out of the way or we moved aside to let people through. Everyone was really courteous. It seemed like everybody was aware of their surroundings especially during COVID times, to make sure they gave enough room for people to get by. After this first set of stairs, you come to a really cool and kind of creepy tunnel. The tunnel does have lighting throughout and a handrail to help you get through. But if you are claustrophobic, you might have a small issue. At the end of the tunnel, you come to this sign. During our hike, we completely missed this sign, the message that says come down the 99 stairs to make the loop. As you can see, we ended up going up the 99 stairs, which actually wasn't that bad. After scaling the 99 stairs, you come to an old military bunker, which is really cool. After the hike, after going up two large flights of stairs, after crawling through the bunker, you finally reach the top of Diamond Head. And as you can see from the pictures, the views are incredible. The hike is definitely worth it. What we found going down is actually more difficult than coming up. Walking down the decline with all the rocky and rugged terrain, it's a little tough on the joints. But if you take your time, it's not too big of an issue. If you have any questions about our hike up Diamond Head, please leave them in the comments below. Please can consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. More Hawaii adventures on the way. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.